Welcome everyone, this is Nuno Voltage 5 and I am Al Cabrera. I'm here as your commentator, commentator for this edition of Voltage. Here we got Connor James, the scumbag weasel Connor James, taking on that sports guy in an Eastern matchup, Eastern branded matchup. We have three matches for you here tonight, one East and two West brand matches, of course, we will also have for you tonight. Uh, we will also have for you tonight Zack Starr versus Joe Omega. Of course, those two men have history, and we, we will touch on that when that comes. And we also have in the main event Steven Raiden challenging for the Mountain Range Championship against a rival of mine, Amir Barnes. So, Connor James, an arrogant individual since joining up with Hugo. As this, this sort of like, you know, small alliance, and Hugo's been pretty, pretty good together as a team, getting victories. We still had some issues with, I don't know, Shane and Johnny D, and um, Johnny D defeated Hugo. But tonight, Connor James has got that sports guy. Because on the last voltage, Hugo defeated sports guy by himself. But of course, Connor has got Hugo at his side for this matchup. A sports guy, he's, he's a veteran, he's like 16 time hardcore champion, I believe. He's a uh, he had a shot at the on the last page, page 30 34. He had uh, a shot against Andrew Liana in the central zone title, unsuccessful though. He's had a he's had he's also an empire, he's signed to empire, and he had he's been a part of the Dalver specials. He faced Kurt Hawkins. You know, he faced Rhino, and he recently got destroyed by Lars Sullivan, and he, well, who was his partner against Rhino for Dawkins. But he's, you know, he's recovered, he's here tonight, and he's looking for an, a, a victory here tonight. Because his attire is a little different, his hair is a little different here tonight. Sweet, sweet uh, striped shirt. He's had a couple of moves we have, we see, we, he may pull out here tonight that we haven't seen before. Uh, at least not to maybe f normal new nah, nah fans, new nah NAW fans. Is sports guy? Oh, sports guy was hyping up the crowd, but uh, Connor just clocked it with that forearm. Clocked it with the forearm with the shots, but uh, sports guy comes back. With shots of his own. Throws him off the ropes. Went for an uppercut. But Connor blocked it. Now Connor is looking for a neck breaker. But oh, oh, I don't know if the ref saw that. But that was a low blow. Dirty tactics by Sports Guy to get the advantage and hit a back suplex. And there, look out. Oh, it's, there's that slay off that was called. On his feet was in the ropes, but now Hugo's looking to distract Sports Guy. Maybe take advantage, but oh, maybe not. He went for it, Hurricanrana, and Sports Guy had it scouted and face planted him into the mat. And he hits a front suplex. Connor is not looking too good right now. And Sports Guy is you know, hyping up the fans here as Connor crawled to the apron. Oh wait, Morgana fights back. Off the ropes and into a knee right to the face. Vicious knee to the face. And there's a there's a, sna a scoop power slam or a snap power slam, whatever you want to call it. Morgana gets the leg and now a dragon sleeper. As we see Hugo just slided in a chair. Connor with the dragon sleeper on the sports guy. Is he gonna tap out here? No sports guy stops it. No two in huge knees right to the face. And for a clothesline, in, oh, Connor ducked it. Connor ducked it. Flew him over, but Hugo, Hugo throws. Throws sports guy into the ring. Connor was looking, maybe looking to use that chair, but decided against it. He could have got disqualified. But either way, Hugo you know, gives Connor the advantage. And now vicious knees into a reverse DDT. Connor is in complete control of Sports Guy right now. 
and only a two count there. Kind of complaining. Of course, I'm not too much of a fan of him, but you know he's getting been getting some results ever since he you know came out of the East and that huge feud with Ozzy Andy. And of course, he uh, cost me being Empire Hardcore Champion when he defeated me. But he did. He didn't have that title very long either. So we'll see. As, uh, sports guy spun him off and hits a pile driver. A pile driver by Sports Guy. Oh, he went for the cover, but look, Hugo's distracted the ref. That could have been a three count. And now he's up in the ape and distracting Sports Guy again. This is not good. And Connor comes from behind, catches him up with the roll up. One, two. Oh, only a two count. Only a two. Connor almost maybe snuck out the win here. Snuck out the win. And the ghetto double knees to the back. Two knees to the back. One, two, no, only two again. I know Sports Guy's proving that he's worth something here. Hunter's looking for the opportunity at all at elbow. Hit the, he's laid up in the back there. As, a, as, as Sports Guy was getting up, Connor took advantage of it. And Connor's going to continue the assault here with that huge su German suplex, that deadlift German suplex. See, Connor, Connor is is all is all hype, all arrogance right now. Oh, went for an integrity. Sports guy blocked it. Went maybe looking for a suplex again, but he, it was blocked by Connor, and it's another slam. Another slam, and it's a Gary to the back of the head. It's a Gary to the back of the head. And this might be there. Kind of looking for the end. Super kick. No, he was blocked. Sports guy blocked it. Look out! Oh, co what a code red, I believe that's called. I don't know. What he calls it, but it's only two. He hit that. That uh, Yoshi tonic, if you will, it's it kicked out. But sports guy, oh, it was after Hugo. Went after Hugo there, trying to neutralize him. And, and Connor got back. Connor got was uh, kept uh, recover enough to get back up. Took a shot there, and O'Connor with these shots. Connor with these shots, and a kick to the face of sports guy. He had a, a couple of times to win this match, and another kick to the face. But Connor maybe. They be on his way to getting the victory. Another one. <laughs> I don't know what's good. I don't think he's gonna have anything left. I don't. I think he might be out for the count here. I don't know. He calls this the saving grace. Connecting. But oh, I guess Sports Guy's foot was on the rope. I'm not sure if that's the right call. Don't know what other kick, but sports <laughs> regardless, sports guy has had hasn't had the opportunity to recover from all these shots. And Connor James is continuing the assault here. I don't know if he should continue this. He could have just pinned him again. But Connor wants to send a message and dives on the sports guy. Sports he may be out of this. Connor James is in complete control. Been in complete control the last few minutes. Wait now, Connor James. He's got that chair. He could get disqualified if he hits with the chair. He chooses not to. It, oh, he goes after the referee. Scumbag Connor James goes after the ref and uses the chair. Uses the chair. Couldn't get the job done, so he used the chair. But wait, sports guys, I don't know how sports I recovered it, uh, recovered from that. And hits another pile driver onto Connor James. Another one. Another pile driver. We well, may be thinking to end this here. Well now sports guy's got the chair. He's gonna get disqualified here. Well, but the ref the ref takes away the chair the chair. And sports guy wasn't Paying attention, and Connor James took advantage. Sports guy should have not been 
trying to use that chair. Should not been trying to use the chair to the other kick. How many Insiguri kicks to the face? Is it gonna is it going to take? Oh, more shots. More shots here. James is in control now. Oh, what's it? Off the second roof. Look out. Oh, what a. My God, what the hell was that? That was like a reverse suplex. It off the top rope. Just knocked out Sports Guy. Just knocked out Sports Guy. And now look out. Here comes again. Saving Grace by Connor James. Sports Guy knocked out. Connor James takes advantage, this time puts him away from the ropes, two and three, Connor James gets the win, Connor James gets the victory, here tonight against Sports Guy, see he had it written earlier but Sports Guy had his moments, that pile driver, so this huge, huge lifting backbreaker, he knows that that code red, only it only got a two count though. Let's see it again. Two, boom. Two. Kind of names kicked out. He hit the same grace, but it was a rope break. But he would hit it a second time, and Connor James secures the victory here tonight in this East Brand match on Voltage. Question is, what's the future holds? And here we go. We have the next matchup that I was talking about. He, West Brand on the line, as you can see, he's also the Empire Joel Mega, the Empire Cruiserweight Champion as well. Here tonight. Joel Mega, the new look, you know, shoulder hair, things like that. Champion. As you can see, wait a minute, there's Zach Stalker. I was gonna, I was going to talk about how uh, these two men have issues. I mean, Joe Mega is gonna be taking on Danny Jack Brown, at the five, and better shot for their chamber opportunity. The spot on on the line. There was a chamber match, of course, happening at Chapter Nine. Zach Star, Joe Mega, Danny Jack Brown, Mason Chronic, Larry, and T.J. Nicholson. There's of course. It's like, oh, what a kick. I was going to say, but one of those men will not have their spot. And we have a six-man battle royal, which I will be a part of. I would need to to get the replacement. But, of course, this is just more momentum for that. Regardless, Zack Star will be in the chamber no matter what. So if he could get a win, it, it would be good for him. But Joe is Joe's not looking to st uh, stop that. He was looking for something. Twist it around, hit a kick. And now Zack with a suplex. Zach with a suplex went for a moonsault. Oh, he, I don't know if he saw Joe was getting up. It didn't have it, but Joe stopped it. Joe got out the way and all these shots, huge shots in the corner by Joe onto Zach. Oh, he went off and oh, he caught he ducked he ducked that four shot forearm shot hit a kick, lifted him up. Joe stops it and then. Right to the leg. A shot to the leg. And then there's a forearm, a buckle, of second rope, axe handle, and what an impact DDT. Impactful DDT. By Joe. On the Zach. And there's a clothesline. As uh, Joe Stevens would say, holy fuck, a clothesline. Close line. Now he's looking. He's looking for something. Float over by Zach. And oh, oh my God! What a flip! Flip into a cover. Into a pinfall. Two. No, only a two count. Zach. What speed by Zach Star? And there's a sliding close line. Now Zach picking him up. Like I said, huge implications for the future for these two men. But this is all about momentum. Yeah. 
And if it, you know, shows out the advantage, you know, what a kick. What a huge shot. You know, just throwing Star onto the mat. <laughs> Threw it onto the mat. And now, look, yeah, oh, what a front suplex by Joe. Joe, it's a front suplex to Zach. And now Joe went for an elbow, but Zach ducked out, ducked out of it. Now Zach up to the top. And oh, what a shot by Zach. Oh, he went for Hurricanrana. But Joe caught him. And then there's a power bomb. He went for the Hurricanrana. Joe caught him into a power bomb. And oh, only a two count. Only a two. This is a huge matchup. Zach is looking for, for momentum for himself. He's one half of the uh, Empire Tag Team Champions as well with his cousin Danny. Former wrestling tag team champion, former multiple time champion in many leagues. As we saw that headlock by uh, by Joe wearing down Zach. What's he doing here? He's maybe looking for another power bomb. He's carrying around here, looking for another one, but Zach stops it with these shots to the face. With these shots and what Zach? Look out! Oh, brain buster by Zach. Brain buster by Zach Star. Now Zach's going to the top rope. Frog splash. Huge frog splash by Zach. One, two. Only a two count. It's a big frog splash, but it was only only two. Now Zach's working on the arm of Joe. Mm, takes him down there. I think what's the opportunity? Crucifix. A crucifix. And again, only a two count. Joe comes right back. I don't know, this is a been back and forth matchup. Oh, what a shot right to the head. And another shot to the knee. Joe take, goes comes right back to take the advantage. And now Joe locking up the legs. And here's a regal stretch. That's a move he's seen before. A regal stretch on Zach. Is, is Zach going to tap here? He's in, he, he can't. I don't know what he's going to do. Oh, he rolls out of it. Zach rolls out of it. It's an arm drag. He hits an arm drag. And a, oh my gosh, what a neck breaker by Zach. Zach just hits a ne the neck breaker. And here comes the double star leg drop. A double star leg drop by Zach. Send that huge neck breaker into a double star leg drop. And only only 2.9. That was close. But you know, Zach. So the cousin of Danny Jackpot has just as much accomplishments, just as much prestige to him. He may, he may have been thinking for another object, but Joe blocked it and cut off the arm. What a what a counter right there. And it allowed him to take advantage here and hits a fisherman suplex. And only a two... Oh, maybe it's a two count, but... He, I think Joe didn't I knew that and stopped the count. You know what an elbow. That huge elbow no, into the corner. Clothesline into a bulldog by 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 Joe Omega. And now different dimensions. Joe's up on the top. Went for a splash, it old knees up by Zach. He went for a splash. Got the knees up. And I was hacking to the Hurricane Rana. Zach's looking to take advantage here. Look out. Shooting. Star. Press. No knees. He got the knees up. Joe got the knees up. And now, boom, a DDT. He, Joe hit the DDT. And oh, oh my god. You may be thinking for that discus boot. One, two, three. That's it. Show wins. I forgot what I called that, to be honest with you. Fall from hell, fall from heaven, whatever you want to call it. Either way, it took out Zack Star's lights out. And got the three count. This is a huge, what a competitive match this was.
It's not Joe got the knee, Zach got the knees up on Joe, but a few moments later it was Zach who got the who got caught with the knees by Joe off the shooting star press miss. As we saw that double star. Double star link drop, and we saw the Fishman suplex. And that only got two as well. Boy, only, what it got two, but Joe was stopped the count. And then, boom, we saw the shooting star press blocked with the knees. Here is your winner, and then a the DDT superstar. followed by that fall from heaven, or grace, or hell, whatever you want to call it. Either way, Zach Joe Omega picks up the win here tonight. Huge momentum for his chapter for his page 34 match and now here we have Mount Rage Championship Steven Raiden versus Amir Barnes the Mount Rage Champion someone I don't like very much in Amir Barnes I will have an opportunity to face him at chapter 9 however with both of us being battle royals like say Raiden we could both have pulled double one of us could pull double looty I could win beat Amir and win the cha win the the West Coast Championship all on the same night. Amir could do the same, or Amir could get in the chamber, win the championship, and I beat him for the Mountain Range title. And then I have a claim for the West Coast title. So many possibilities, so much fantasy booking, if you will. For tonight, it's not about, it's not about that tonight. It's about the West Coast title. If Steve Raiden were to win this match, then I would be facing him at Chapter 9 regardless. So, huge implications for this match here tonight. As so we know, Steve Raiden is a former tag team champion in multiple different leagues. Former, uh, he was the first West Coast champion as well. And, you know, he, he did face Amir Barnes in a, in a double title match at Chapter 8. It was unsuccessful. And, of course, I did face him. A few pages ago, but Amir stopped that match from having a conclusion. So you'd say maybe Stephen is owed another opportunity here tonight to get the title, to get a title shot. Either way, I know I am getting my title shot. You know he's he's had a lot of arrogance ever since he turned on Lariat in a match right before their title match that was going to happen after he low blowed him to f causing a disqualification. But of course it didn't it came back to bite him because he lost the title to Larry in the last man standing match at Collision. He's been uh, had a fall from fall ever since, but you know, he's looking to keep 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 strong here and if he could win back the title that would sure help his his momentum. Of course he recently he might he might, you know, show up in Empire, you never know. He recently was on a special, he beat Neville when I mean, he was in a ladder match for opportunity at the Empire Cruiserweight title down the line. Unfortunately, he was unsuccessful. Amir Barnes, though, he's only appeared on specials. He, well, he did face, you know, Central Zone champion Marcus Carter one time. That ended in double count out. But he's he's been dominant with victories ever since. You know, Matt. You know, match after match after match. He's he's won most of it. The question is, can you know, is he gonna continue that tonight with this with this mountain range title match? And I don't think Steven, Steven Raiden wants to wait for the bell for the official announcements. Take the shot here. And oh look, Steven Raiden draping DDT onto Amir. And that's how we start this Mountain Rage title match. Steven Raiden, you know, maybe he, they, they, you don't count him out here, but he's, oh, what an elbow. He's, my, he's the underdog in this match. He certainly is the underdog for him. And Amir, you know, I'm going to say how he won this match. Won his title. I was des I was supposed to get an opportunity because I had pinned both Butch and Joe Maker when they were Mount Range champions. However, Amir snuck from behind to attack me and took my place, and then defeated Joe to become Mount Range champion. And he's been champion ever since. And oh, what a power slam! I've had op an opportunity on a prior voltage at the title. I wasn't that successful. However, I did beat Ethan Frazier in the steel cage match after chapter 8 allowing me to get that shot at chapter 9 so we'll see what happens of course we are going to say board suplex we recently had golden kingdom which I was a part of commentating lots of that show and I also had my own match I've defeated Connor James with an elbow as we saw earlier we saw him earlier and there's a springboard splash 
kind of fucked so I wasn't like successful at, be at capturing the action zone title. However, that could I I've been all over the call first and oh what a, he went for a diving head by a miss. Like the whole point of this thing is choke slam that I will have an opportunity to become a champion. Um, maybe as I of course I am the uh, now former Null Voice Hardcore champion as I lost the title recently back to Mike Lander. And it comes up big splash as I'm talking about myself. This is of course this is a West Brand matchup. Focus on the match at hand. I don't want my uh, my bias biases against Amir to affect this commentary. As uh, he went for a springboard, did did not work, and Amir now. You now Raiden has been all over Amir for the last few minutes. I know, you know, Amir is a dominant force, but Raiden has something to prove here. Wait, look out, Amahi Stroll, Amahi Stroll. Oh, not even a one count. He went not even a one count. And look out, Crucifix. And again, no, not even a count. Amir's taking some damage here, but uh, but uh, Steve Arena hasn't even got a get getting a count in. No, really, he's looking for a looking for a superplex, superplex by Amir onto Steve Arena. Huge superplex. And there's all oh, that Pharaoh's Curse Power Bomb. He won with that, oh, only a two count. He won with that move to retain his title, his two titles that he had at the time. And there's a back break, but he, he did not win that thing. Oh, Steve Rainey, what a sh is getting clubbed here. No, what a springboard crossbody. Now Sveden's continuing here, looking for looking for another springboard. Looking for another. The, no, he hit that earlier springboard crossbody off the ropes, and now only a two count. Sveden only gets a two here. And, uh, that Re that Raiden. Raiden, look out. Oh, he went for a diving clothesline, but Amir dodged out the way. So the way, oh, what a clubbing shot to the face. So Amir has been on the back better a little bit. Raiden's continuing the shots, but Amir is in complete control now. Throws him back into the ring. That I'm not too happy about this, uh, about Amir and his actions, but he's a competitor. That's true, and I do have to respect it. Huge knee bear by, by Raiden, though. Raiden's in, in, coming back here. Oh, what a neck breaker by Raiden. I don't think Amir expected that. Raiden's looking to become the champion here. Looking to become the champion. 450 splash, you know. He blocked it. He blocked it. I'll let it work out. Oh my god, what a gut wrench power bomb. Bad landing. Gut wrench power bomb. Oh, only a two count. Raiden is not. not, not. He's not. Wait a minute. I don't know, he's gonna get a substitute disqualified. Oh, what a kick to the face. Raiden right, comes right back here. He was looking maybe to, to get him tough to touch the gratified. I would not be happy with that. There's an insecurity by Raiden. Raiden's taking the fight to him here. He's taking the fight to him here. He wants to become Mountain Range Champion at any cost. Raiden's raining up, waiting for me to get up. Oh, and oh, what a hurricane rana. Well, I don't know what that was. It, it, either way, it caught, it caught Amir. It caught Amir, and there's a diving headbutt. Huge headbutt. 
And oh, only a two count. Steer Raid is so close to becoming the champion here. And Beer is. Now faded up to the top rope again. Went for the headbutt like, second time. Nobody home. And then I'm, I'm here just tossing, steering around. And oh wait, that that huge that chokehold, that unbreakable chokehold on the floor. I mean, you you can't get a tap out here, but Raiden might get incap tap incap incap. He get knocked out. Incap it. Oh my god. He'll be knocked out. <laughs> Speech impediments aside. Unconscious. There we go. Spine busted through the table. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Spine buster. Don't tell me. Don't tell me he's going to get a count out victory. A count out victory. That's becoming of a champion right there. Spine buster. He's going to take a count out here. He's going to take a count out. You know what? I can't. I can't. I can't stand for this. I can't stand for this. Hey, where you going? Where you going? Where you going? 